We're not identifying them, but the mothers you're about to hear from say their sons were being sexually assaulted at school for months. They say a recommended 10 day suspension for the boys accused of the assaults is not enough. Whenever he was just in his underwear, they would reach up and grab a hold of his stuff. He said that he can't use the bathroom in the locker rooms because they look up underneath the stalls that you are over the top of the stalls and they try to grab you as you're sitting on the toilet or if you're standing up. It's very hard. You don't want to, you don't ever want to see your son go through anything like that. Yeah. And now he has to go to counseling. He has to get therapy just because of things that has happened to him. And I feel like I failed as a parent. According to the Title IX report obtained by 4029 News, three Lamar Middle School boys said they were being sexually assaulted inside the locker room since last summer. The boys' mothers say they had no idea what was happening until another parent sent them an audio recording from inside the locker room in March. I heard my son, because I can tell his voice, um, and I understood that, you know, he something was going on. He said, I don't really want to talk to you about it. He said, I want someone else to tell you what's going on. What's because up? he he felt ashamed and like hurt that it happened and he couldn't do anything. The Title IX report found there was enough evidence to hold three boys responsible for sexual assault. The recommended punishment was 10 day suspension. But the mothers who are speaking out tonight say that's not good enough and they're appealing. I think they should be expelled. I don't think they should be allowed to play sports. I don't think that the, they should be in the same public school that our kids shouldn't have to be the ones that are forced out. The Title IX investigation recommends what action the school district should take. Police say they're conducting their own investigation into what happened to see if the juvenile justice system should be involved. Brett Rains, 4029 News.